Hi all, this is Chris Sherrill with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be going over the air handling and we're basically going to be going over three different things. We're going to go over the on-air go-to, we're going to go to an on-air resume next, and an on-air go-to zero. So these are the three things that you need to know. Um, we are going to dig right in. I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. You can get there by hitting Alt F11. Uh, yelled at me because I was inside that cell. I'm going to add a module and then we're going to start writing some code. So we're going to go sub air mod. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go if uh, we're going to force an error. So we're going to go 0 divided by 0 equals true. Right? Now I know that this is going to create an error, but this will make sense as we kind of go through each one of these. <clears throat> We're going to do a message box in here. Um, and the reason, primarily, if you watch my videos, I do a lot of message boxes. The reason I do that is not necessarily because people need to know a lot about message boxes, but it makes it easy to just understand the concept, so that's why I do that. So if we hit F, F8, we're going to get an error here. And we get a runtime error, we get an overflow error, because 0 divided by 0, <clears throat> you can't do that. It's a math problem. So, all right, so we're going to go through and go through each one of these. So the first one we would do is we're going to go ahead and stop this code. And we're going to go on error, go to. And we're going to call this ERR handle, handler. And that's just air handler. Now, anytime you have an air handler, you're going to want to make sure that you do a couple things. You're going to want to say exit sub. The reason you want to do that is because you want to make sure that you don't process this code that's going to happen after your go to. And this is typically what you're going to do. Um, and in your, in your go to, you're going to basically end up fixing whatever that code is. Now in this case we forced an error um, and so in this case all we're going to do is just say we're going to just do a message box and this is going to be error, right? And so this is going to show you the on error go to error handler. So we got the error, it went to the go to, go to took it here, we got an error and we're going to end the sub. Now it's important to note that from any line of code after this on error is going to go to that error handler or it's going to go to wherever the go to tells it to go. Now that's really important. So we could have a bunch of code in here. We could have a for x equals 1 to 1 million, right? And we could just run that code, right? Um, and I'm going to process this. It's just going to do a quick loop. It looped through that really fast. You'll notice that x equals 10,001. We still have this error. I put that stop on there just so that it would stop. I still get the error. We get the error. So um, just keep in mind that once you do an on error, it's going to be live until you either change the go to or change the error type. So the next thing we want to go over is on error, resume. on air resume next and so what this does this is actually really nice if um, it's nice and it's bad um, it's not the strictest way to do code um, because all it's gonna say is if you get an error I don't even care I just want you to go to the next line so let's walk through this real quick we're gonna take care we're gonna take this out take that line of code out we've changed it from the go to to the resume next we're going to get an error here. It's going to say you got an error, but I don't even care. And then it's going to go to whatever that next line is. Now in this case, um, if you do have your error handler and it goes into an if statement, or if that error happens inside of an if statement, it can be really difficult to debug. Um, so this is probably not the best practice unless you know that errors are going to happen and it's really by design that you're doing that. Now the last thing that you can do is on error go to zero and so what this what this code is is it's not next
but it basically resets it to default, right? And so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna hit F8. On air, we're gonna go to their air handler. Now we're gonna change it to resume next. Now we're gonna do go to zero. Now go to zero is gonna say we're just gonna reset it back so that you get those error logs. So a good a good best practice is if you are using resume next and you can't find that code, just put it on air go to right after that, and you'll start getting those met, those warnings. Um, that's a quick quick review, uh, just overview of these different options. I'm going to throw in one little thing here. I'm going to comment out these two pieces right here because I am going to show you one other piece. This is kind of like air handling 201 a little bit here, but we're going to say um, D is equal to zero, right? And I'm going to put in a D here. And this is actually going to give me an error. And I'm going to show you that it gives you an error. D equals zero. It's going to go to the message box error, right? Well, we can do two different things on this. Once that's been completed, we can actually go D equals one. And this will make sense as we go through this. So D is equal to zero. We get an error here. We get our error. I would actually get rid of this. I'd comment this piece out. I would change it to one. And we're going to go resume. Okay. Now what resume does is it says, wait a sec, I had an error up there. I've corrected my error, which means that I've corrected it by doing D equals one. And it doesn't equal true. It actually equals zero. But it goes through and it starts on that next line. Okay, so I'm going to add one other piece. And that is not resume but this is resume next. And you've seen this before um, because you've seen it in the on air resume next. But what this does is it allows you to change the air and go directly into the next line of code. So we're gonna stop this. We create our air right here. We're not gonna do resume, we're gonna resume next. And so that's actually gonna go right into the next line of code. And that is really the essence of uh, air handling. Uh, the other pieces, there's a couple other pieces that you can do. You can actually do the air um, air dot name, or you can do the air dot clear. There's uh, you can do the air descriptions. Um, I'm at, let me actually add that really quick so that you can have that. Um, we'll go dr dot description. We're just going to print these in your um, immediate window. So debug dot print. A little off topic here, but these are actually pretty nice because. Um, we got our error, right? We're going to do debug print. We got an overflow, right? So that one of the nice things about that error description is if you do have a lot of different types of errors, you can actually say if it, the error description equals overflow, then we're going to do this. And you can do some advanced handling in there using some if statements. So um, this one a little longer than I thought, um, but this is this really is this is super useful. This is going to get you out of a lot of trouble. I'm going to add this into the comments. Make sure that you are subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. We do have weekly videos. Actually, usually it's more than that. Make sure that you like the videos that you like, and I hope you enjoyed.